question is from Andrew Reed. There's a lot of controversy surrounding the use of multivitamins. I take one of the best greens powders on the market and my nutrition is fairly diverse. Is supplementing with a multivitamin necessary? And if so, when and why? So hmm. vitamins okay. and minerals uh, are essential. Many of them are essential, meaning you need to consume them or take some of them um, in order to, to thrive and lacking any of them can cause lots of health problems. This is, a lot of people know this. This is why multivitamins are popular. But a lot of people don't know the following. Taking too much of certain nutrients uh, or minerals can also cause lots of problems. Now, here's the problem I have with the multivitamin. It's everything. You're, you're nuking the problem. Now, what ends up happening a lot of times with people who take multivitamins is they, sure, they cover bases, many of which they didn't need to cover in the first place. They're going in blind. They have no idea. And oftentimes they cause, they're, they're actually taking too much of certain nutrients yeah. because they've got this multivitamin over here. Plus, they eat a lot of this particular food. Then they take the supplement over here that's also fortified. Then they oh, eat this breakfast. You're cereal. addressing one deficiency, but you're overwhelming the body with all these other uh, minerals and, and nutrients. And especially, you're especially if you're a person who's taking multivitamins and then you're taking a bunch of other performance supplements, bars, and shakes because most of those bars, shakes, and they're all fortified. And everything's fortified. Yeah, yeah exactly. In, inside of it. So you're really, and that's what I would find. I'd find the, the same person who buys into the multivitamin is also the same person who's buying into the bars, the shakes, and everything else, and they're just getting they're getting an abundance yeah. of all of that. And some of that yeah. can become the more acidic. is better. Yeah, and yes. you're and you're totally and here's the thing: you're totally blind. So if you want to maximize your supplement intake, especially vitamins and minerals, test them. Yeah. Go get tested and see what you lack, and then supplement with what you need. It'll blow your yeah. mind at how effective that is and how much of an impact that'll have on you. Taking too much of things can have negative effects. You just don't know when you just take a, again, you're nuking the problem with all these vitamins and minerals. You need to know what you need in order to supplement uh, properly. And then if you want to go deeper, you, then you look for what foods provide those things. Mm -hmm. Right, because that's the that's the I, best. That's the mm -hmm. ideal. The first you go, you get a test, and you find out, oh, I'm deficient on X, Y, and Z. Okay, where can I get X, Y, and Z in Whole Foods? And then your goal is, oh, how can I implement this into my lifestyle on a more regular basis? And then if I don't, I have this supplement to help me out with that, dude. The okay, so here's here's a a great statistic. The 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 odds or the instances of overdosing on nutrients is astronomically more high in people who take supplements versus people who eat food. So in other words, you see far more toxicity from too much, you know, vitamin A mm. or iron or, you know, whatever from people who take supplements. Almost it almost never happens from people who get it from food. You can eat extremely vitamin rich foods mm. And it's much more difficult to do that because they just don't have the concentrations. And usually, what, balanced with, with fiber and other things like coming from the plant? Yes. So, like, here's a great example. So, we know that anti antioxidants <laughs> found in foods uh, help prevent the oxidation uh, of cells in the body. They fight free, free radicals. They've got all these health benefits. And so, people who consume diets that are high in antioxidants have lower instances of all kinds of, you know, uh, chronic diseases, heart disease and cancers and that stuff. So, of course, people are like, oh, antioxidants, good for me. I'm going to buy antioxidant supplements. The antioxidant supplements cause lots of problems for lots of people because they're at, they're at, they're at doses that you would never find in food. Yeah, unnatural And they don't, con they don't contain cofactors that foods have that actually can you know, balance out a lot of the antioxidants. So they did studies where people who had cancer, you know, they gave them high doses of antioxidants. You know what ended up happening? It strengthened the cancer. This doesn't happen when mm. you eat foods that are high in antioxidants, for example. Or you take all these antioxidants, you slam down inflammation so much you get problems from that. So my point with this is a multivitamin can be very be beneficial or it can be a big problem. You have no idea. Or it could do nothing. Too. Yeah, or do nothing. You have no idea unless you test yourself and know what nutrients you're, you're lacking and know what you should take. You're really, it's, it's like, it's like a, and that's why there's studies that actually show people who take multivitamins. There are some studies that show people who take multivitamins have worse health. Mm. And then there's studies that show that they're, that they have better health. That's why it's mixed. Cause I think sometimes people who are taking these multis are just overdosing their bodies with certain nutrients, causing deficiencies as a result. Like too much zinc, for example, can cause a copper deficiency. Mm. Too much iron can be poisonous to the body. Too much a, vitamin A can be poisonous. Even vitamin D and other nutrients that we yeah, know are magnesium. Yeah, are, are important yeah. can cause uh, lots of calcium. You know, for for a while there, 
People were taking shit tons of calcium because they were like, oh, calcium builds bones. I need to strengthen my bones, take lots of calcium, causing heart problems because mm. that's not really how it works. Right? Versus eating foods that are high in calcium, which tends to have these bone protecting effects. So test yourself, see what nutrients you're lacking, and then go from there would be my approach versus taking you know a freaking nuke approach and just taking them all. Beautiful.